It's all true. It's all true. The podcast with Grant and Shazzy Denya. And George. It's all true is back. But not in its full entirety we wanted for 2024. Oh, but that's okay. We push on. Exciting things are coming. Watch this space. Yeah, it's happening, Shez. We're back. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh my god, how talented are you? 11. Oh, thank you so much. All in 15 minutes work. How you going? I am so good. I'm so good. I feel really out of practice though. I I don't even remember how to use this equipment. It's been months. It has um been we've months. <laughs> spent a couple of hours prior to us talking right now just making sure all the right <laughs> buttons are pressed. So if it doesn't work out, you'll know exactly why, but uh and it's just us yep. today. No GD. No GD. Yeah, Grant's still filming. He's still doing the um, deal or no deal for another another couple of weeks. So, mm. um, how dare he work and have an income? I happening know. for the family. You know what I mean? Right. Um, you know. So we kind of announced. Well, I announced. I got a bit excited. Uh, two weeks ago saying, hey, guys, you know, just letting you know we're, we're on a little bit of a break as we try to set up for something really exciting. <laughs> um, and that didn't go down very well. Um, I what don't know. If, I don't know if you got lots of messages, but I certainly got a lot of messages, lots of reviews from people. Um, should we saying go through here? Yeah, saying where yeah, the hell are you? It. Um, all right. So I sent some of these through to you, George. I don't know yeah. if you got them. Shall we yep. kick off with Julie from Windsor? Yes, you shall. Um, Grant, Chez and George, come back, please. I can't wait anymore. Fridays without you guys. Uh, oh, sorry. I can't wait. I've forgotten how to speak. Gee whiz. <laughs> this is what can't this wait is. anymore. Fridays without you guys in my ear holes. Or maybe she can't spell. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Do you know what? we Honestly, we're that happy that we actually got a couple of reviews and people begging us to come back. Like, let's yeah. be honest, we couldn't give a shit if you can't spell. Um, <laughs> I can't even, I can't spell or speak most days. Most days I'm yelling at my kids, calling them spaler and, and I'm not even hypnotised. <laughs> no. Um, so Pedro Pete. What Pe- a name. Gosh, Pete. that's good. It sounds like a porn name to be honest um not that i would know and not that we would care if you are a porn star listening to our show (laughs) like we're all for it you know i'm gonna i'm gonna rename him he's gonna be porn star pedro pete from tazzy that's a mouthful (laughs) my wife got me hooked up on your podcast hooked up on your podcast and now i am up to date with no new eps come on guys get some eps happening please as i'm now your biggest fan so he's listened to like 10 seasons of this show. <laughs> Since we've been off air. Oh, my God. Um, well, and it's a weird one too because we had three episodes of season 11 air and then we just stopped for a random six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> now we're back with a, a season opener. I feel like if ADHD was a podcast, it would be this podcast. I don't know what's happened this year. Yeah. It's just all this stuff has just happened. It's crazy. And... um. And I'm, I have, I just have so much information to share because um, mm. I realise that this is my safe space um, and I just feel like so much has happened since we haven't been recording um, but I almost want to keep it for our big surprise, which is really yes. unfair. So, mm. um, We've got lots to unpack. We, we do have lots to unpack. And we will touch on some of it this episode. Um, we shall, if we can speak. a couple speak. more. Reviews. <laughs> yeah. Well, Still Utah. practicing. Uh, Troy Lisa Gang from Utah. Wow. From Hello Utah. Hello and greetings all the way from Utah. Our family listens to your podcast every week and we just want to say hi and let you know that you have fans in the US. Keep up the good work. It's just nice to know we have fans. <laughs> um, I'm still a little concerned it says our family. So... Just thinking back to some of our episodes, mm. I don't know whether they're kid friendly, but maybe they're older. I hope the family is all over eighteen <laughs> yes. or twenty-one, as you have to be yeah. in the US. Um, that's, that's pretty right. cool. That's 
look, that was quite unexpected. But um, what's at Utah? I have no idea. Just what is a place in, in the US? Well, I've heard of it. Like, I'm just geographically speaking, I'm not a very um, up to speed guy. So. Mm, Troy, Utah. Lisa, tell us more. Utah. What yeah. is it known for? I don't know, but um, a quick Google will probably show us what Utah is known for. We really should have probably done this off air. Again, we are <laughs> producing this on the run. What <clears throat> is Utah known for? Yeah. Oh, Zion National Park, Arches National Park, Salt Lake Tabernacle. Lake Powell, Mon- oh, Bonneville Salt Flats. It sounds like a very scenic place. It does. The Great Salt. Actually, I think Grant wanted to race something on um, the Bonneville Salt Flats. Wow. Yeah, it's a playground for speed enthusiasts. Oh, my gosh. A popular spot for land speed records. Oh, we might have to do the, the show over in bloody Utah. Absolutely. We've got a family of fans over there. We might yeah. as well. Well, maybe um, Troy and Lisa. Troy, Lisa, Troy, I can't find Troy, them, Lisa gang. Troy, Lisa gang. Um, maybe we can come to your house. Maybe we can do the podcast from your house. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> Actually, that'd that be. just about explains the budget of this show. We, we won't do it at a <laughs> local stage. We will come into your <laughs> spare room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. But that's that's the organic nature, you know, of this podcast. Yeah, I mean, I the must budgetness, the bu- <laughs> the freeness, um, the freeness. I really wish that um, we were still doing it in the studio in your bedroom. Oh, that me too. Provided a wealth of jokes. Yeah. Oh, it's. It, I think I've mentioned this in the podcast before, but that room is now a classroom. The homeschooling. What? No, you haven't mentioned that. No. So, you know, we, we've busted out a, a few seasons of It's All True in that room and um, some really um, great moments and inappropriate moments and terrible jokes have been made in, in that room and, and now kids are being educated in that space. So it, it's amazing. What kids are being educated? Well, well kid, I should say. My, oh. my younger brother, Gus, he's being homeschooled um, from that room. Oh, so. my, could your mum get any more wholesome? Far out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, she's not as wholesome as everybody thinks she is. I mean, she is very wholesome, but she's she's got some things going on that are questionable. I, I, I could bring them up on the podcast at some point. Maybe we should do like an interview, a, a 2.0 interview. Remember we did that first yeah. chat with her and it was all really, you know, beautiful and she was showing off her best side. Oh, I reckon we could uh, show a bit more to old Lisa Sargent. Oh, do you know what? I can't believe anything that you say about your mum. Your mum is like mm. the most gentlest, um, nicest, mm. I don't know the word, but I just want to say organic. That's a well, weird you know word what? for someone. She but- used to listen to this podcast a lot and I think she stopped listening when the <laughs> song Horse Lips came out. Is like, I don't need to know this about my son. So she doesn't, I don't think, listen to this podcast anymore. So we could probably prank her and like oh. get her swearing or something. I want to hear her say something naughty. Oh my God, that's quite funny. Okay, yeah. Well. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we're producing this on the run on the air. I am yeah. all for a prank call. I mm. think that's hilarious. That, uh, on Lisa. As long as my Watch kids aren't listening, that takes me back to my childhood. Um. You know, yeah. as you're talking, I can see my levels being nice and juicy and fat. Good. But when you talk, I can't see yours, George. Can't see anything. Oh, my gosh. Like on our roadcaster desk or on the program On the roadcaster is very small. I can't see any on the riverside. That's okay. That's okay. all right. Um, cool. I'm recording my end. You're recording your end. And if, hey, the podcast ends up just being you with awkward 15-second spaces, then you'll know exactly <laughs> what just happened. Um, uh, there, I'm recording my end, so I think it should be okay. There is an orb, no shit flying, like, just around you. Gosh. Yeah. Is it a good orb or a bad orb? Am They're I'm... all good orbs. Yeah. Okay. Um kind of just disappeared but it just keeps popping into my 
in my eye line. Is that true? All orbs are like good energy? I believe so. Yeah. Can you I put a believe... face or a name to the orb or is it like not even a person or thing? It's just a an energy. Uh I want to say great grandfather. I don't know. Okay. Mm. Yeah. It's popped up a couple of times on this podcast. Yeah, actually. but I'm seeing like a nice mustache and very dapper looking person, and yeah, that's me with a Not with the a, orb with a <laughs> with a cane. I don't know why, and just swinging it around. I guess that was the you know the era, probably. Absolutely. Um, bit of a maybe a. Um, Good talker, good storyteller. Yeah. Mm. Maybe like he could potentially work at like the local paper back in the day. Oh, like a, really? Yeah, I was going to say potentially like a journalist or, yeah, something mm-hmm. um, high esteemed, very good at um, telling stories. Yeah. My great grandma's husband, Gus, um, did exactly that kind of stuff at the Western Advocate back in the day. Really? The Western Advocate the local in the a- paper? No way. Hmm. Right. And after him, the only real media person was my uncle and then me. So maybe he's like sitting over me saying, mate, sort your shit out. Be a better producer for this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's really, that. yeah, that's, uh, why do you say, sense. why do you say your grandmother's husband? Well, I, um, well, my great grandma's husband, so I never met him. So to me, I guess he's just my great grandma's husband. Um, but my great grandma, I, I knew her as Nana Wayne. So yeah, I never really had a name for right. him, or a, if, that, if that makes sense. So you knew her, but you didn't know him. Yeah, he passed away um, quite young. Mm. So I'm, as you know, <laughs> I've had a <laughs> whole a good lot of stuff. Yeah. To what you're doing at the moment, hey? <laughs> it is. Oh my god, it's been happening to me all over the place. Uh, but I didn't really want to go there today. But um, just seems to we touch on it briefly. Keep, yeah, yeah. So for the past eight months, I have been doing, and I'm sure I've spoken about it. I've been doing my um, diploma of mediumship. Um, Very inspiring. A lot of people I see comment and go, "Oh my gosh, like." Well done. Kudos to you. That's so cool that you're picking up something that you, I guess, never thought you would ever do and uh, embracing it and doing so well at it. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen those comments too and I, I, that's really lovely. But I feel like there's been a much bigger force at play because I feel like every time I kind of went, mm, you know what, I don't have time to do this or I kept trying to pull out something or someone – um, and I have a quite a good idea who it is. Um, just keeps going. No, that's not. You know, that's not your path. Your path is to study this. So get studying. Um, just mm. various things happen to me that I can't explain, and they just keep pushing me back in. So I had a lot of things happen last year that really tried to derail me from my studies. So um, Grant collapsing on the Amazing Race. Obviously that. Was on purpose. <laughs> Bloody Grant. <laughs> he always needs to, you know, steal the show. Um, <laughs> that that left me um, somewhat broken, as everyone on this podcast or who listens to this podcast knows. Saw and heard um, that, yeah. Yeah. It took me a really long time to overcome that. Um, but I also was left with this really strange sense of loneliness from that moment. And I never really understood it until continuing my studies and I realised that at that moment where I thought I was losing him, I just blocked out all my intuition or my – I just put up walls just to try and um, focus all my energy into saving him. And so what I did at that point was I just lost – that direct contact with who I call my spirit team. Remember we had um, Rory. Yeah. She's my teacher, right? So um, and I've had many a long discussion with her about all of this um, and I've come to the conclusion that I just kind of blocked 
my spirit team out, which made me feel yeah. lonely for the first time ever. It's a really awful, strange yeah. feeling that I had to really rectify with. So um, then I kept having issues with my eye, <laughs> my jizz eye. Um, oh, jizz eye. My jizz eye. <laughs> yeah. That nobody could explain. It was just really bizarre. I just kept getting this, you know, swollen eye. So I've done some energy healing. I've done, I don't even know what you call it because I am so um, new to all of this territory. But with each step, I just kept pushing on because something was pushing me to keep studying. And mm. um, I don't know, it's all starting to make sense, but. Things are happening in my everyday life, so yeah. seeing reckon, things and yeah, like the spirits and the more sort of um, you know things you're you're seeing as a psychic. Do you reckon they have the knowledge that you are quite new and green in this area, and they're like, oh, here we go, we got somebody that we can really kind of unleash on and um, kind of play around with, or, or or do you think it's um, you're like the chosen one? <laughs> Uh, I don't think that they're um, mean-spirited at all. And I don't think that any of the spirits, and I've done a lot of talking to spirits in the last couple of weeks. I was telling you off air. Um, yeah. There's a bit happening uh, where I'm just getting lots and lots of messages for loved ones and I, it's really it's a crazy time because mm. uh, I just have to kind of allow it to happen and try and put words down. I don't know who these loved ones are. I don't know who these people are. I I just see like images and just have this feeling um, when it kind of comes on, when I tune into it, I guess. Um, and the only way I know that it's starting to happen is I get like really big butterflies, almost like, anxiety and then I start to get goosebumps and I think oh my god oh my god it's gonna happen and then and then I just start seeing lots of sadness lots of grieving um the human kind of experience and then it's followed up by I see the spirits trying to connect and and get a message to their loved one um, is this happening with your eyes closed or eyes open or like what's so, the, the physical scenario? Where are you? I'm all over the place. So, for instance, mm-hmm. this morning I was making breakfast for the kids and they're having a big fight and the next minute I started feeling these butterflies and I got goosebumps and I thought, oh, my God, no, 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 no. And then just straight away I just, you know, I just see something and I go, oh. But what, I'm, what I've become good at just in the past couple of days is saying you're going to have to wait. I can't do mm. this right now because if I do, um, I'm just going to rush through it and that's yeah. not fair to you or to your loved one. So um, so do, I don't do think Do you feel like you have a bit of a mission to like, I don't know, reach out to the loved ones of these spirits that are coming in to say, hey, like there's a message or, or like what's your process there? I don't have a process. I have no freaking mm. idea. Um, I just know that I have to translate almost into words what I'm feeling and what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing and I just keep being told you have to write it down, you have to write it down. So I've come to the conclusion that it just will all go into a book and the universe or whoever knows um, what the final purpose of this will be and it will just be super healing i don't know can you hear all those birds there's like five magpies just sitting here just like looking in just warbling which is wow yeah it doesn't normally happen um that's strange i've just got a little audience happening here um they're staring at you yeah yep it's all good uh (laughs) does that freak you out or are you like no it's okay no i just feel like they're just really interested in what i'm saying um, because right now the only thing that I can hear is you and the hum of my MacBook Pro. It's about to explode because we've oh. got so many cords going into it <laughs> <laughs> God, <don't laughs> to make lose, this podcast work. <laughs> don't lose the MacBook Pro, then we'll no. be then we'll be in deficit with, with this podcast. <laughs> it doesn't earn any money. Um, no. 
Yeah, so I don't know what the final you know thing is, and I don't know who I don't know how to get these messages to their loved ones. But what started it was during a lesson um, two weeks ago. I we had to practice doing a group reading. Like I'm right at the end of this course, so uh, it's been eight months of study, and we have two major exams. And if you pass the exams, then you you become certified. Now, I, I don't even know what to do with a certification, but I just know that I need it for my own confidence. Um, so during a lesson uh, two weeks ago, I just, I don't know, just started getting a message for a woman who was in the group who I don't know. She's from overseas. Um, Utah? It, <laughs> no, but in fact, I don't even know where. It could be Utah. I don't think so. I think it's somewhere in Canada. Um yeah and she got a message for me and her message for me just made me bawl my eyes out and I've got it all recorded, um, you know, because we record all the lessons and it's really powerful because I've watched it back. She said she had a message for me from a young boy who wants to connect with his mother and and I heard and I felt this young boy, he's he's – spoken to me I think for a long time trying to connect to his mum um, I don't know who his mum is and it was almost frustrating me um, that I couldn't connect him to his mum but I feel like perhaps this is all part of this you know putting these words down I don't know mm. I don't, don't know what the end result is um, yeah but Watch this space regarding all the psychic stuff with you at the moment. It's it's exciting, but it, it seems to be. I mean, if it was me far out, that'd be quite overwhelming having all these almost um, unwelcomed um, voices coming towards you. Yeah, it's a. I feel as though sometimes I'm like living um, a lot in my head at the moment between reality and whatever else is you know is around um yeah I have to keep grounding myself because my energy is just all over the place but I feel like I have to do it and I have to do it really quickly and I have to get everything down on paper really quickly and then things will return back to normal I don't I don't know if that's you know what's going to happen or I don't even know what normal is but yeah um I don't even realise when I'm like talking to people, I probably look like I've lost the plot. In fact, I've always no. looked like I've lost the plot, but yeah. <laughs> you actually look more together actually. Um Do I? no, I oh. think I think for myself and for G D when he comes back and for the listeners, it'd be really nice that if you have a moment during our recordings where someone's trying to talk to you, we should just shut down the episode and um let you do your thing if you'd be comfortable. It'd just be kind of cool to see you in that process if you wanted to share that or if there is much to see. But um, I don't know. I'm I'm intrigued by this entire thing. Are you? I am, yeah. I've never known somebody um, personally, like we've interviewed plenty of people that can do this, but knowing someone personally, um, it's a whole new dynamic. And I think there's a bit of scepticism beforehand mm. um, with other people. Um, but now that, you know, you, you, you made it with someone who you trust and you can see them fully properly going through it, it's um, quite exciting, I reckon. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'm apprehensive because I don't, I don't want to interfere with people's grieving. Yeah, like, you don't want to muck around with that, hey? No, I don't. Um, Very precious thing for somebody. Yeah, and I... I I think that I, to be true to myself, I, you know, I've, and I've said I'm unlike anybody else who's doing this course. I don't want to do one-on-one -on -one readings, you know. I'm, mm. it, if that happens in my life, then, you know, then, yeah, all, you know, I'm all for it. But I just feel like, I don't know, if I visualise something, then it's um it's healing a group of people or or just the fastest way to heal the most amount of people very quickly. Mm. I don't know why it feels yeah, so you're rushed using either. It for the greater good. No, it's um, very special that you've, you're finding out your way 
um, mm. you're going to use these superpowers that you have. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Or um, I may have lost the plot and I may <laughs> have had a, bre- a mental breakdown because uh, three kids on your own, who knows? <laughs> uh, and I could okay. possibly be floating around in some kind of bipolar territory. So, you know, that's You've also You've done it in possible. style <laughs> and it's been with conviction. <laughs> You'll be like, what? what's she doing on the news? I'll be like, I talk to dead people. And they'll be like, is that Grant Daniel's wife? Oh, my God, what's happened to her? Where's her clothes? Oh. Well, speaking of GD, speaking of GD, he can't be here today, but he can be here in AI form. What? We've got a selection of oh, about five different grabs of him just um, that we're going to use throughout the episode today. Um just so he feels like he's here, you know what I mean? I reckon yeah. 50 mil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that's classic. So just so it feels like he's here. Yeah. Well, did he just say, I reckon 50 mil? I reckon 50 mil. I don't know how that comes into play during this conversation, <laughs> but he <laughs> obviously thinks that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I reckon 50 mil. Maybe he thinks that's how much brain fluid is actually left in my brain. <laughs> It'll probably be 5 mil. It's going to be oh. epic. It's going to be okay. epic. Yeah, that's so funny. Oh, my 50 God. 50 mil. George, you're so you're a classic. Um, it's all right. Oh, we've got AI one, machine's kicking in. We've got one more review that I should just um, read out. Tracy from Instagram. Shezzy, I love all the chats you give about your mediumship lessons. Can you do some more episodes on this and take us on the journey with you? I am excited. Oh, well, that wasn't very psychic of me, was it? I just <laughs> spoke about it before the review. Uh, yes. Good timing. Uh, yeah. I will. Who knows? I'm an open book. So who who knows what's coming out of my mouth? Hey. Yeah. I got a matching tattoo over the break. What the hell? I thought mm-hmm. we were going to get a It's All True matching tattoo. Well, that is probably what's next because I'm actually thinking of, oh, my God, what is the next tattoo that I'm going to get? Because pre-meeting Carly, um, my fiance, for those playing at home, I was just going to be a clean boy. I didn't want to have any tattoos. I wanted to have clean skin. But, um, yeah, we went and got a matching cute little cartoon whale tattoo. It's right here for those watching on the YouTube. <gasps> sort of like a... Cute little doodled whale. Oh, my God. That um, is so cute. Actually, I don't think we have a YouTube happening for this episode. I just remembered. Oh, well, yeah. So explain where it is <laughs> with your little whale. Yeah, my little my little <laughs> whale is in the crook of my elbow. Um, sort of it's just so underneath cute. the sleeve line. It's Yeah, it's fun. And, and the reason we got it was because um, we both met in Harvey Bay, which is like I guess, mm-hmm. whale watching territory, um, very famous for that. And um, we joked on our first date, um, our first ever time meeting each other, that we'd get a, a matching whale tattoo. So a year on, um, we went and got it while we were on the Christmas holiday break. And, um, Aww, yeah, it's that is, so cool. That is so sweet. So, um, yeah, thinking of getting more tattoos and you reminded me we should do an It's All True tattoo maybe the listeners could decide a matching tattoo that you (laughs) me (laughs) and grant get live on the podcast at a tattoo shop that's going to sponsor it and uh, (laughs) give us lots of money oh my god tattoos hurt i got my eyebrows tattooed and they bloody hurt oh this see this one didn't hurt at all it was absolutely fine it was like no pain at all for me also, I'm too old to get a tattoo. I'll be Oh, never too old, surely the, not. I'm just picturing myself on that news, you know, <laughs> the news. Oh, it's Grant Daniel's wife. What did she got a tattoo? <laughs> she had a tattoo on her dimply ass. What and the talking hell? talking to dead people. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Lock her what, up. Where would you put it? Where would you get the tattoo? Like probably discreet, right? I have no idea. I've often joked about getting a tattoo uh, since I was about 20, but I always wussed out. Um, I probably always, you know, if I had several cocktails, uh, I was really keen to go in and get one. I think I wanted a a bird. I think when we were in Bali for our 40th birthdays, like all my girlfriends um, Mm. and their husbands that decided to come, 
um, with no kids, several pina coladas in. I thought it was a great yeah. idea for everyone to get swallows up our arms and thank God Grant <laughs> was there because he's like, don't do this. Shez, you will wake up tomorrow regretting this. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, I think I called him a party pooper and everything under the sun, but I am so glad that he did that Thanks because, um, yeah. Does GD have any tats? No. He's too much of a perfectionist. He couldn't. Okay. He, like he wants to have clean skin or he'd be scared that the person tattooing wouldn't do it right? Uh, he'd be scared that the person doing the tattoo wouldn't do it right. Plus he'd mm. be scared uh, next week he'd want to change it and he got the wrong um, <laughs> tattoo. Like he is the king of overthinking. So mm. he is. Well, that. same here. I'm a massive overthinker. I'm a massive perfectionist. Yeah. And I got a tattoo and. I'm, I'm guessing I'm it was Carly's. Carly's influence. Um, no, we walked oh. past a tattoo shop on right. the Goldie, and 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 we weren't drunk. We we were completely sober. And I said, "Let's bloody do it. Let's just go and get matching whale tattoos. Let's let's make this happen." Um, like I couldn't believe the words were coming out of my mouth. Um, that is so crazy. You're spontaneous, s- right? Impulsive. Those not impulsive. The George that I know, hence. I blamed Carly. Wow, because she, mm. she is, you know, pretty exciting. So Yeah, but she, like, was a little bit like, oh, gosh, we should probably think about it first. Like, we didn't even have a design at that point. We literally just got onto Google Images and was like, is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Walked up, did it. Um, and I was thinking, oh, surely, like, two tiny little wow tattoos isn't going to be that much. And um, we went up and got it all sorted out and the tattoo artist Oh, I thought he said that would be oh, roughly $99. And I said, for both? And he said, yeah, $99. And I'm like, oh, wow. And I'm sitting down in the shop with Carl's and I'm like, $99, that's incredible. And she goes, no, $399. I completely missed the 300 <laughs> bit. And I'm sitting there going, oh, we've just paid. We're bloody going to get this thing on our bodies and we don't have enough money, but hey, what the heck. Oh, my God. Life's it's, short. It's like an entire week's wage. <laughs> Yeah, in podcast world. Oh, well, it's a month's wage in podcast That's, world. It's half a year's work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we really need to make this, we really need to monetize this shit. Um, well, maybe we are and we're just being coy about how much money we're on. You know, yes, we're on millions. $200 million, $300 million co- contract. Yeah. What did Grant say? 50 mil. 50 mil? Yeah. I reckon yeah. 50 mil. That's about it. Oh, my God. The fact that you even got the right sound. For that was, you know, epic. I like game shows. Do you like game shows? Oh. <laughs> That's a, that actually sounds quite creepy. Um, <laughs> $399 for not each, for both. For both of them. Right. How long did it but take? For, oh, it probably, like per tattoo, it was about 40 minutes. So there was a lot of detail that went into it. What? But as you can it's see, it's outline. tiny. It's an outline. It's like a little cartoon sketch, and I reckon it would be about three centimetres long. A three by three. Yep. What? It took 40 minutes each. 40 minutes each. So we were in there for, a, you know, nearly two hours. Uh, well, more, yeah. Oh, math was then my strong one. I reckon 50 mil. But anyways. Um, <laughs> 50 mil hours. <laughs> What? Yeah, so it was 399 a couple of hours in there and it's, you know, tiny and cute and a lot of money. Oh, my God. That so that blows my mind. So if mm. you've got a full sleeve, how long does that take to get tattooed? If that, that tiny hours. little tattoo takes yeah. 40 minutes. Surely some would take like half a day. Like the real detailed, got lots of colours, um, a really, really big... Uh, yeah, I reckon there'd be a lot of time that goes into them for sure. Oh and I reckon they'd hurt a bit more. Oh, I reckon they'd hurt. Yeah. Mm. This was just like somebody pretty much drawing a sketch of a whale with, with a lead pencil, a real sharp lead pencil, but it didn't hurt too badly. It's all true. The podcast with Grant and Shezzy Denya. Were you just trying to act tough in front of Carly? Um... Oh, there might have been an element of that, but it doesn't look very tough when you come out with a little whale, does it? What did your mum, the organic Lisa, think about yeah. this? So, well, I sent her a, a text and I said, hey, we got tattoos. And she thought I was joking. And then I 
FaceTimed her and said, no, this is legit. We actually got tattoos. And I mean, I said it to her growing up. Oh, I'd never, ever, ever get a tattoo. But, but here we are. And to be very honest, I rarely look at it or think about it until, you know, moments like this when we're on the show or catching up with somebody and they go, oh, my God, you got a whale on your arm. So I think it's, it's cute. You're actually pretty proud of it, aren't you? I am very proud of it. It makes me smile every time I look at it. Um, so who would have thought a sketch of a cartoon whale could bring a man so much joy? Survey says. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> oh. What was that? What was that? I heard it. Did that come through your desk? I don't know what that was. That wasn't you? No. Oh, my God. That was like. Yeah, I've got goosebumps. That's strange. Mm. It's about as strange as these couple of magpies just sitting here. I don't even know. I can't, <laughs> I've got that many cords plugged into this computer. I couldn't turn it around to show you, but they're just, yeah. Welcome oh my back God. to the podcast. That was so happening. bizarre, that noise. But you did hear it. Yeah. Did it, it sound like a notification or was it something else? Well, my notifications are off, um, which is yeah, same here. unlike me. But anyway, that's all good. Um. We push on. We push on. Right. So we've got a list of things that we wanted to get through today. Yeah, I was going to say, with what though? <laughs> what do we push on with? Oh, yeah. Um, well, i trying to think back to all the things that have happened. So mm. I did a DNA test. Uh, have you ever been interested to check out your DNA? Yeah, I reckon it'd be cool. Um, to do a bit of a family history sort of read up. Uh, ever since that episode that GD did actually with the um, yeah, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? That was really cool. Um, yeah. I, I like I, I I'm curious, but I'm also scared. I sort of don't want to know because I'm quite content and happy with the current family history <laughs> that I know of. Is that because you think something bad happened? Well, I mean. It was sort of um, a bit yeah, traumatizing. It was shocking the for stuff Grant, that yeah. came up, and I'm like, do I want to go back and relive, or or even know that there's an association? But um, weird, maybe. I, I think, yeah, for the most part, absolutely. So, so, so you did one now. Yeah, so I did um, like a, a a promotional job with a, a company called Circle DNA. Um, mm. They reached out to me and they said, would I like to do it? And I was like, yeah, sure. I loved the fact that it, they went into um, all health kind of um, DNA. I really yeah. loved that. That The one, the um, DNA tests that I did are um, like the most comprehensive. So I think there was like 500 reports. Um wow. Which was mind blowing the detail that it went into, and then I got you know the report, and and you get to um, have a look at it on an app, and um, some of the stuff is irrelevant. Like mm -hmm. I think one of the things that shocked me, it said that I um, would have more body odor than the normal person. <laughs> <laughs> Still Do makes you me find laugh. That to be true. <laughs> Oh no, I can't <laughs> smell it. But um, yeah, it's gonna it be just... epic. <laughs> um, and I'm just looking up the um the app now. I, it, it was it was full on. But one of the things that I found in there that that kind of haunted me a bit um was mm. uh well the good thing was I didn't have any cancer risk, which was one thing That's that I was really news. worried about. Yeah, yeah. um, but. I did um, find out that I've got a gene for early onset um, Alzheimer's. So, I mean, that's good to note. Um, sure. And I learnt uh, about my family origin, uh, which, I don't know, I just kind of always thought we would be from Scotland and Ireland um, mm. with a bit of England thrown in. Um, yep. But what it did show me is that I have, I'm just pulling up my ancestry composition now. Um, so 96% European, right, and that's broken up into a, a couple of different um, categories. 3.8% Middle Eastern. 
Now, I was really? expecting, yeah, I was expecting that I would have a certain percentage being Chinese. I don't know why. I just always felt like I had um, some kind of connection. Yeah. Yeah. There's uh, no Asian. There's no South Asian. There's no Southeast Asian. Um, but there is 3.85% Middle Eastern. And there's also 21% um, <clears throat> European. Uh, I can't remember which one it is. I have to look it up. Good old hmm. Google. Um, but <laughs> a lot of um, Spanish. Wow. Okay. So since like what, knowing all this information, yeah. um, does it change your outlook on life or does it give you moments where you're like, ah, oh, that makes sense or this is why I do things this way or this is why I feel a certain way about something or is it um, just a case of this is interesting? Um, a bit of both. So hmm. a lot of the um, personality traits I, yep. I kind of – laughed at um and mm. grant was a bit you know shocked when we were reading through um one of them Survey said, says. <laughs> <laughs> one of them said that um i have um a, i'm very highly likely agreeable which is yeah know, absolutely oh she was scared the crap out of me um i have a very low neuroticism level um, it said that I was likely reserved, which I found, um, well, that's not how I would have described myself, but it, mm. it said under my IQ that I was normal, um, average, but that I have an above average, um, I can't remember the wording, but it was like something like can compute things really quickly. I have to look it up now. Maybe the dementia's already so started to So there's a fair bit in. of stuff that you didn't agree with or feel like you were aligned to. There were some things that didn't make sense to me. So um, More than, like, more than yes, if that makes sense? Like, there were more things that you didn't than you did? Um, no, no, probably. There wasn't as many shocks. Okay. Um, yep. So my creativity, my genetic result is excellent, above average. My educational attainment is normal. But my information processing power was gifted. It's like so high. Yeah. And Grant thought that was hilarious. Like I am gifted. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's like a gene linked to the communication between brain cells linked to thinking speed is gifted. Wow. Like I would not have picked that about myself. So, do you feel um, that now, though, after seeing that? Not really. No. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but I play on it a lot <clears throat> with Grant. Yeah, I mean, so, you can work on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the tests are, uh, you know, even though you can get a percent, uh, like a discount off, you know, through my gift code or whatever it was, um, there was a few people that reached out and said that they couldn't afford it. Um, so Circle DNA have actually given me a couple of tests to give away, um, which I'm quite excited about. So I think I might pop something up on Facebook because that seemed to be where a lot of our podcast followers, um, you know, were around. hanging out. Yeah. So I might pop that up, um, this week and give away a couple of tests and yeah. 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 I thought it was hey. interesting. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Um, so that'll be on Facebook at the time of uh, this podcast coming out. Um, yep. Yep. I was just going to uh, say as though that we are talking about things that are happening relatively um, at the same time as this coming out. Uh, Kate, Princess Kate. Oh, what is going on there? Oh, well, there's a few theories going around. Um, mm. But uh, at the time of this recording, uh, she has been pictured right. um, with William. She's out and about and is seems it, happy. Is it? And seems happy. What mm. the freak? I'm so confused. I, mm. so, but, take me back because you you work in a newsroom, so you are up sure. to speed on the news. Um, <laughs> I try to avoid the news as best I can. But That's fair enough. So Princess Kate, the castle, um, the palace, sorry, released yeah. a photo of her last week, was it, with the kids? Yeah, 
a, a couple of weeks ago, a photo with, with the kids uh, had been heavily photoshopped um, as if that she wasn't even there with the kids. Um, oh. The last time that it was officially um, sort of documented that she was out and about and seen um, in public was uh, December, tw- uh, December 25th uh, last year. Right. So it's been a good few months since um, she's been properly spotted. Um, but, yeah, as of today, she's been seen out. But, um, look, to be very honest, yes, I work in the media, but I, I steer clear of the news as well. I, I actually turn it off um, <laughs> during my show. Uh, right. The listeners can still hear it, um, yeah. but I don't listen to it. Um, but, yeah, th- there's people saying or, or drawing comparisons to Diana. Is, is that true? Well, uh, I don't like she's know. She's in hiding away from the media. I don't know. I did see um, a couple of things just pop up briefly, say, uh, speculating mm. that maybe she'd had a hysterectomy and um, the toll it had taken kind of on her face made her not want to appear because she always looked so perfect. Um, look, I thought, well, that, you know, very well could be true. Um, mm. There was another one where they thought she was on The Masked Singer. Oh. <laughs> Filming for that, and I went down on that theory hard. Like I believed it a lot, and I'm like, "Yeah, she's got to be doing that." But um, that has since been um, proven false. Right? Maybe she's so, in the Australian jungle for. Um, oh, I'm a celebrity. Well, suppose, well, that would be a long time in the jungle before anybody else arrived, wouldn't it? It's probably not. <laughs> well, they're just smart. setting up her cabin, making sure it's all perfect, just settling <laughs> into the surroundings. Is is that the real reason why Grant's not here? He's doing a he's doing a comeback on I'm a Celebrity. Oh, my God, he would never, ever, <laughs> ever step foot uh, into a jungle again. He still has nightmares about the animals that were in that jungle. Mm. In fact, we have been overrun by snakes here on our farm. I've seen like, your socials. Far like out. King Brown's getting about left, right and centre. What yeah. else have you got there? Tiger snakes. <sighs> Tiger snakes. Um, it's I, so deadly. I know. I can't let the kids go outside. Well, I just... I don't, I've we've lived here for ten years this year, and I have seen more snakes in the last six months than I have in the entire ten years. So, so a property that I would say is oh, about half an hour away from you. Oh well, our old studios. Um, yeah, similar deal. Heaps, really, heaps of snakes. That I reckon there's been a big mass hatching. Yeah, and they're right. just overtaking. What kind of snakes the are they getting? We've got copperheads. Oh, right. Okay. Um, they're quite small. I reckon, oh, I mean, they'd be half a metre to a metre in length. But, yeah. Um, yeah, still pretty deadly. And um, there's been a stack of them out that mm. way. So how are you keeping them away or, or how are you um, relocating them? So being a snake lover, um, mm. I have been told I'm not allowed to catch them anymore. Um, I have to <laughs> stay away from the snakes. That was from Grant. Um, and he threatened me, I think, with divorce several times. Um, <laughs> for going up to the snakes. For, for, for trying to um, catch them, uh, to relocate them. So I like to relocate them down to the creek. Yeah, um, they can hang out there. <laughs> well... Grant always said, you know, they're just going to keep coming up. So get a snake catcher because I don't want to lose you, which is fair enough. You know, I've got three kids. Um, but yeah. I also am trained to catch, um, you know, snakes. Not that I, you know, carry an anti venine kit or anything that I used to. Um, so, so I just have to watch them go past and mm. keep the kids inside. Um I did so have, you observe and call the snake catcher now? No. Um, no. Just watch them go? Depends. If Grant's not here, um, mm. I will, like I've done all sorts of things. So I've just, you know, put a bucket down, like a big bucket, because I kind of, you know, guess where they're going to go, which way, and then just put the lid on and then take it down. But um, oh, That's smart. Yeah. As a professional snake handler, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not actually handling them you know you're catching well relocating relocating um, yeah but i know that people always say no hit it with a shovel but uh, i just like to remind everybody that that is actually illegal yeah. <laughs> um and i'll become an endangered species and we don't want that 
I don't think that the tiger snakes around our house will become an endangered species, <laughs> but, but... too many of them. I can't kill any animals. Like, it's, Ooh, you know... But I, I have got um, the snake repellent, you know, the sound um, sonars all around the house. The little beeping sort of antenna things you stick into the ground. Yeah, yeah. And I've also got um, just some setups so that the snakes don't go into the kids' cubby house. Like I've tried to put yeah. a bit of a buffer uh, around the kids' areas so they can't get in there. But, you know, mm. I found one the other day um, in our little garden shed. Um, it was quite big. So, um, yeah, I didn't do anything. I've just left it there. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So just, is it well, potentially still in that garden shed? Or? Yeah. Yeah, it's just Chilling. hanging out. Uh, yeah. So wow. I think that there's a crack uh, in the wall that it kind of goes in and out of the shed. Um, mm. So I'll just, you know, block that up when it comes to winter <laughs> um, so it can't, you know, keep coming in and out. So. And the Do other you thing feel like you're a wildlife warrior? Just off to the side when Grant isn't watching, like you get to fully unleash your wildlifeness. Uh, possibly. I don't know. I did say <laughs> to him maybe we could get a small snake because I've still got a reptile license. Maybe we could get yes. a small snake for the kids. Um, That'd be so cool. Grant said, "Not on my life." Um, okay. Yeah. So well, that won't uh, work. Well, I, toy yeah. snake. Yeah. Toy um, life-like snake that can move like a snake. There'd be something out there, sure. My dad did the other day bring in a tiny little baby blue tongue lizard, like a really oh, cute, cute little one, and um, and Sunday wanted to hold it, and it was oh. like doing the <laughs> noise. <laughs> um, and I said to her, "Just pat his tail," and she's like, "I love him, mummy. I love him. I want to bring him home." Um, mm -hmm. and I thought that was quite cute because my first what? ever pet was a a giant um water dragon lizard oh, named yeah, lenny mm. lenny i love um shinglebacks and yeah um water dragons and fr thrilled neck thrill thrilled with f thrilled neck lizards yeah, yeah like they're, bearded they're dragons bearded dragons yeah also on sunday if you want to see the cutest video in the world mm. uh on your instagram uh it was a video you put up um it's the one where she's doing, she's in the mermaid tail and singing part of your world. Or oh, the, I know. <laughs> oh, mate, that's the most adorable video ever. Oh, my God. She, uh, she really brings so much joy to our lives, little Sunday. I'll see if I can play this. Um, yes. So Sailor was in Mamma Mia. And Great show. It was good. It was real. It was a school um, musical. And she Did was, she have a character that she was playing? No, she was just a chorus person. But um, this was... Usually people in the chorus have character names, though, if you Do fully they? embrace the role. Oh, yeah. right. Oh, I Shaniqua, don't know. maybe. Oh, Shaniqua. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if I can play this for you. This was the following morning, morning after we watched Mamma Mia. It was through the baby monitor. That's the best. How cute is that from watching it once? That is pitch perfect as well. And then she goes into. Money, money, money. <laughs> She's doing a mega, mega mix. <laughs> she doesn't quite know the words, but um, oh. it's just so. Think, oh, she performed like, the whole yeah. musical. I think she might have just said it. A rich ass it's world. A witch's world. <laughs> <laughs> a witch ass world. Um. Oh, oh my god, it was so great. funny. I recorded about three minutes just through the baby monitor. It was classic. It was so cute. Yeah. If yeah. we're ever low on content, we just need to play that because that's excellent. <laughs> she is hilarious. Um. 
In fact, I've had so many people saying, oh, can we see more of Sunday on your socials? But because she's so busy and into everything. Um, yeah, she's I... got a packed schedule. It's hard <laughs> to get her in for filming. <laughs> yeah. It's really difficult to. Um... which ass world. <laughs> oh, very funny. Um, um, I know we're coming to the end of the podcast, mm-hmm. but did you, did you say you're learning Chinese? Oh, yes. Yeah, I just sent that in a message to you. Yes, so, I am. So, so you, you're becoming a psychic medium. You're yeah. You're writing a book, you're raising three kids plus grand and yeah. you're learning Chinese. How, how, where, why? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. I was just told. Can you told, give me something in Chinese? Um, shui. <laughs> it's water. <laughs> is that, oh, is that uh, water? Yeah. <laughs> cafe. <laughs> cafe. Um, coffee. Uh, cafe. Oh, so wait, the, the Chinese word for coffee is cafe. Yeah. Oh, that's easy. I'll remember that. Um, yeah, I have been learning it now for oh, five weeks, I think. Um, so wow. yeah, I don't feel confident enough with my pronunciations to say, um, sentences, but I really like learning it, but it's hard. Mm, really, I have heard it's a really very hard. tricky language to learn. And, and is there a part of you that's just like, hey, it's a new day, it's a new dawn, let's learn something. It's never too late to just get some things under your belt. Uh, no, I don't know what is going on with me. I just, um, somebody's taken over my body and my brain. Now, I think the DNA test that I did said that I yeah. had um, excellent memory skills with language and I thought that was hilarious because I can't even speak English properly most days um yep. so uh and because of that um gene that i've got for the early onset alzheimer's dementia it was recommended that you use um the language processing side of your brain so um which you know either learn a music instrument or um learn a language so i mm. couldn't think of anything more unenjoyable than learning an instrument at this age. <laughs> I don't know why. I just I'm more fingers and just not coordinated that way. But I don't know. I've always had a fascination with China, and so I thought, stuff it. I'll learn Chinese. Yeah. I don't know. And Sunday could have used with a bit of piano backing during those vocals. You could have learnt the piano, and um, she could sing and start a little Denya band, maybe, uh, and sing Abba in Chinese. Possibly. It's going to take me a long time to learn. I'm very There's slow. There's a challenge. But she does, Sunday does always say, um, shishui, um, jish, um, yeah. And Grant and I only noticed that the other day and we were like, oh my God, that's, um, that's this is. So, this but, is. Okay. But shesi, shesi in yes. Chinese means study. That's what we need to do for this podcast. That's weird, isn't it? Chesse study. Chesse. Do you know what um, grand means? No. I was about to say big dick and then I realised we're still recording. <laughs> that was a terrible joke. He'd like grand, it. anything you want to yeah. say? I reckon 50 mil. <laughs> Dick's 50 mil. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm so glad that your mum's not listening to this anymore. Um, well, we're going to prank her. That's the thing. Oh yes, we are. Yeah. So that and much more greatness to come. Yes. Um, we do probably need to say that there is something big coming for this podcast. We'll yeah, be there is. Very, very vague about it, but do just trust us that it's very cool. Yeah, yeah. We can't give too much away. Um, no. It was supposed to be season 11, but the restart on season 11 um, is, I think, going to be George and I for um, the next fortnight anyway. <laughs> yeah. I reckon we can probably say mm. better microphones, better lights, mm. yep. better studio, mm. yep. and better structure. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Better producing. Yeah, absolutely. And um, actually having Grant here in studio. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) (laughs) That's classic. Um, All right. Well, before we go, I'm going to pull out a card for you. I don't know why I'm doing this, but. Yeah, let's do it. Is this a tarot card? Yeah, I only just found my tarot cards. I'm going to pull out a card for you. And the funny thing is that they're actually girl cards, so. That's okay. I'm all for that. I've got yeah. a whale tattoo. Yeah, but 
<laughs> not that that's not manly. Um. So no, whales are very manly. Killer whales. Think of that. Mine does not look like a killer whale, though. Right, George, you need to meditate some more. You got the some four. More. Okay. The four of cups. See this here. The four of cups. It's a a lady underneath a tree, um, yeah. meditating with a, a a cup coming out of a cloud, and, and the clouds handing the cup to her. I need yeah. to meditate. Okay. How often? Well, I think it might also mean uh, if you rest and be still rather than overworking, um, you will learn something about yourself and also you'll receive a key to the next chapter of your life. I like that. Yeah. I've been waiting for that key for a little while and it's because I'm not meditating. Well, meditating and also um, probably taking better care of yourself and mm. resting rather than working around the clock. So I like that. I needed to hear that. Are you going to pull a card for yourself? Does it work that way? I've already pulled a card for myself today. So Oh, cool. Yeah. One card a day keeps Wait. the bad juju away. <laughs> <laughs> you smart up. Um <laughs> Yeah, so life will be there when you – it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm, I'm going to do that though. Yeah. Are you taking Is 10 a minutes a day me? okay? No, I'm being serious. I mean, it, it doesn't even, sound or look like it obviously, but I am being serious. So like 10 like, minutes a day? Even three minutes, just if you change your approach and, yeah. Just breathing exercise, close your breathing, eyes. Breathing, know that whatever is going to happen is meant for you. It is going to happen and you don't need to bust yourself. In fact, I feel like I'm just repeating what Flavia said in an earlier episode. Yeah, Flavia did say that, uh, gosh, it would be a couple of years ago now. Mm. And have I learned or taken on any of her advice? don't think so. Well, maybe this is your reminder because remember you got a broken butthole or bro- well, not butthole. <laughs> You got a broken Whoa. butt. <laughs> you got a broken butt. Remember after um that chat with yeah. her, something about yeah, yeah, yeah. golf yeah, ball an injury misplaced. from the waist down. Yeah, there's so, been no more of them, thankfully. Okay, well this is your warning. Okay, that sounds that's a bit heavy. Let me pull out a nice. <laughs> no, I like that. Oh, Whoa. can we do another one? Ace of Wands. Whoa! Oh, I'll show you the picture, but nobody at home will be able to see it because we. Okay, it's a hand holding a wand um, and the hand is coming out of a set of clouds, ace of wands. So um, reach out and take hold of the opportunities that are waiting for you. Stop overthinking it. Stop getting bogged down in all the details. You are not stuck in a rut. It is time to spark your creativity. There are new projects and adventures on the horizon. You've got a major creative spark happening. Finances will change for the better. And I think your affirmation is that you have the power to create um, the life of your dreams. So there you go. Oh, that but, has just made me feel so good. But, but I think oh. you have to take into consideration the first card that I pulled, which said, you have to take a minute. You have to take a beat. Take a beat to and then continue reaching out for your full potential. Yeah, in a much calmer way. That's it. Psychic shop is shut. <laughs> Thank you, for everybody, today. for listening to my private session <laughs> with Jesse. <laughs> yep. And um, we will be <laughs> back again. We're just going to release just a couple of episodes, I think, um, yeah. just sporadically because it's just been so fun catching up with you, George. It has been really good. Um, we promise there won't be months in between this episode no. and the next one. No, otherwise we're going to have to find a new home. Nova won't be happy with us. Are Nova happy with us? Uh, well, I don't know. I don't yes, know. Of but course they are. That's okay. I don't yeah. know. No, they are. They're <laughs> loving us. They want more of us. So, um, <laughs> obviously, yeah. <laughs> after a three-month hiatus, so they would be, yeah, quite keen to hear <laughs> us again. 
Actually, I think they were the only ones that didn't notice that we were off air. I think I was <laughs> We've got a problem here if um if Pimp and Pedro Pornstar from like Tassie Maybe is Nova there. is Pedro Pornstar. <laughs> oh my, god, my face hurts. Oh. Um thanks everyone for listening. Okay. Be true. Be true. Bye. Sounds like beetroot. It's all true. The podcast with Grant and Shezzy Denya. Bye bye.